Konnichiwa, my name is T Sakura, and you're watching Pucky Calls. Today's timid first person video is going to be on a Vita game, and that is Lego The Hobbit. Oh, such a great, great game. Really big hub, but enjoyed this on the PS4. So I'm really excited to have this on the Vita because now I have it to go. This game is one player. It uses touchscreen and 5 meg to save. Alright, as always, Tim is playing the, the game. First time playing game, a version of, and I can't skip anything. Let's get that timer started. Timer's been started, and away we go. Okay. Oh, nice! They actually let me look at everything. I got that. Okay. My dear Frodo, you asked me once if I ever told you everything there was to know about my adventures. It began long ago in a land far away to the east. There was a city of Del, peaceful and prosperous. For this city lay the doors of the great kingdom in the Middle Earth. Ergor, stronghold of Thor, king of the Underman, under the man, mightiest of the dwarf lords. A line lay secure in the lives of his son and grandson. Oh, we pay homage to him, even the great elves, Thrandil. Ah, Frodo, Eragor. Wow, this looks really good on the Vita. All right, I'm gonna tap anywhere to move. Okay. Why would you use a tapping thing? That's so weird. Built deep in the mountain itself, beauty of this f fortress city was legend. Oh, I like how they're doing that. Okay. I am missing two. Missing one. Where's the last one? There it is. Think you could hide from me, huh? Yeah. Last candle standing. Looks really. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually quite happy and impressed with how they were able to get some of this to work. Uh, no, I'll hold this. I'll just hold the circle. Button. Yay. I get it. Push the circle button again. Whoa, where are you going, dude? Okay. Okay, I get it. Alright, what do we got here? Something. It's wealth laid in the earth, in precious gems, huge rock, and in great sums of gold running like rivers through the stone. Yay, we built it!
I get it. Let me open it. <laughs> Sometimes you just have to hate tutorials. Hello. What the heck? Why? What was that all about? Okay, gotcha. Okay. Maybe I am supposed to break that. Or not. What? What? <laughs> I'm so confused. Screw it, we're just skipping ahead. Okay. Oh, okay. We're using circle, apparently. Here we go. Ooh! I hope I don't have to pay for that. Hopefully he's okay. Okay, apparently I can't do that. Do not fall off. No, nope. okay. I don't have the item I need. Hmm. Okay. All of you! Yahtzee! Okay. Awesome. How do I get up there? That's still not cool. Most likely break this and it turns into a ladder. Oh look! There's a ladder! <laughs> it gets annoying sometimes. And that is where they found it. A purple stud! Yes! Oh wait, that's not what we're talking about. The Arkenstone, the heart of the mountain. <laughs> but Thor's love of gold and gruel to face. A sickness had begun to grow within. Where sickness thrives, bad things will follow. Poor little piggy. Yay! Oh, I got three of them. That's nice. Sweet. There we are. Ooh, pretty. Can I do anything with it? No, I can't. Okay. No, no. Won't let me. I tried. Years of peace were played, not a loss. Slowly the days sour, watch night close in. Yes, that's what I want to do. So I gotta collect all those, make things with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Okay. The first they heard was a noise like a hurricane. Well, sound the alarms. What is it? Dragon. Dragon! 
He was a fire drake from the north. The city of man was nothing. But dragons covered gold with a dark and fierce desire. <laughs> yes, there's a scream. Nice. Okay, L. Oh, there goes the timer. Let's pause that for we don't die. Okay. I have to say, it looks really good on the Vita. I think they did a good job at porting it over. Of course, being the fact it's on a Vita, they went full-blown touchscreen on this one, which... Okay. So we have touchscreen. Yay. You know, it's, it's one of those things where I always kind of have to laugh. Um, in some games, it works. Going full touchscreen, um, either on the DS, the phone... I should say, okay. The DS family... Vita and uh, tablet slash phones games. It does work. Um, if I remember correctly, I think it was uh, Ninja Gaiden for the uh, DS was full um, touch base. And then, of course, you have the Legend of Zelda, which, you know, they all work really good. But I'm happy that they allow us to use the D-pad and all that, if we didn't want to end that, it makes it compatible with the Vita TV. So that's very good, and I'm very happy that they do that, because, all honesty, we don't need full touchscreen to play a Lego game. It's just weird. It works really good in games like Diablo and all that, but I'm not really wanting... Oh, that would be awesome. Lego Diablo. That would be pretty cool. <laughs> Um, but, you know, we're already playing a Lego game. We're trying to play it the way that we have been playing them, you know, since the first games. So to change it is nice to give us that option to do it. But at the same time, it's like, no, don't do that. It's, it's just, uh, no. But, you know, that's just me, of course. Other than that, I mean, it's exactly what it needs to be, which makes me very happy. I, it's like, no, we got the hub, and hopefully it's not going to be as big as the console version hub, because that is huge. Holy crap, that's a big one. I don't know, I, I, I forget if uh, the Hobbit is bigger than Jurassic Park, or sorry, Jurassic World, or if Jurassic World is bigger than that one, but, you know... They're huge. Um, it's not a deal breaker at all. It's just... I, I'm not kidding when I say this in every LEGO video I've said probably. But I do like it when it was just... Okay. Chapter. Play. Bing, 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 bing. And you continue on. Um, over trying to bring the whole experience over. It's just... It's nice to get one that doesn't have a hub every so often. That's the best way to describe it. Other than that, you got your music, you got your voice acting, you got, I mean, it's what it is, and I'm very happy about that. At least the touchscreen is a little bit different, you know, it's mainly just the menu and everything, so that's good. And it's going to be fun to really go through this one and just enjoy it. Because it is a good one, and I'm really going to love it. This is, this is really going to be fun. And I will enjoy it playing it again. I have to go and see if I'll actually beat it on the PS4 now. Hmm. I've forgotten. <laughs> I know I, I think this one came out to the PS3 or not. But I haven't beaten the PS3 version if it is on PS3. 
Ah, trophy hunting can be so much fun sometimes. <laughs> um, do you want to think of a good question for this one, then? I guess... Hmm. With the other um, Lord of the Ring games out there, which one of the games do you guys think would make a great Lego game? Um, I honestly would love to see uh, Conquest be made into a Lego game. The whole villain story was very clever and a lot of fun. So personally, I would love to see that one be made into a Lego game. Because I think the way how they tell a story and then you have the, the villain side, you know, the what if the villains won story, is really fun. And that's what made that game a unique one to play is because you get that opportunity to do that. I think it would um, turn into a good game, uh, definitely in the Lego universe, due to the fact of it playing out that way. There could be more levels, of course, added in, but I think it already has enough levels on both sides to really be its own game by itself. So that's why I think that would be the perfect one to go ahead and receive the Lego treatment to get us another um, Lord of the Ring slash Hobbit game. Uh, I think it would do pretty good, honestly. So, yeah, let me know down in the comments below about what you guys think. Which, which game would be great to get the Lego treatment and you know tell me why thank you guys for watching this was a lot of fun to see how well this one was going to work this is Tisa Kira saying ciao and sayonara